Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from the Dollar Bead Box. And like always, I will have a link for the subscription down there below the video if you want to go ahead and check it out for yourself. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the Dollar Bead bag. bag. And like I've told you guys, this is actually two separate subscriptions. And I see that they gave us... Um, the other, the other sizes in the same colors that I got last month, which I'm super happy about. So last month they gave me this size in a three millimeter, and I got this one in four, which I really love. It's gorgeous. Okay, some really pretty colors. I like the color mixes together actually. All right, so three millimeter first. Those are four. Matte dark cayenne. Crystal pink luster AB. And then crystal purple luster. And then crystal honey. So this one is the matte dark cayenne. And I got this last month in the four millimeter. It's a really unique shade of blue. I have a ton ton of blue beads. Blue is my favorite color to work with and it is the bead that I have the most of. And this is a very unique shade of blue. I have to say I really don't have this color in my stash. It's really unique. Okay, and then there is the Crystal Pink Luster AB, which is this amazing shade of pink. It's really pretty. It's not very pale. There's a lot of pale pinks out there that I feel like are pretty, but they're kind of boring. This one is brighter, and I hope my camera shows how pretty it is. Sometimes I know that it doesn't. The next thing is Crystal Purple Luster, which is this one, and this one is really neat looking. I'm trying, oh my gosh, I just broke the strand. I'm, kind, I'm trying to figure out if it's coated, because if you look at it, there are little specks on it. I forgot to mute the notifications on my phone, so it's going to go crazy. So anyways, the next one is Crystal Honey AB, which is this one, and I think I got this one last month in the 4. I really love how they sand out both sizes. It's awesome. This is actually two-tone. I don't know if it's showing up on my camera, but there is Clear, the honey color, and it has the luster finish on it, but there's also like a brownish in there. I don't know if that's showing up. Super pretty though. And that's all the three millimeters. And now the four crystal olive luster, matte olive. So this one is crystal olive luster. This is very pretty. I just got this color in another check bead and it's really neat it actually looks like it's aqua blue with green and brown in it it's really unique and then there is the matte olive which is this one gorgeous and then the metallic magenta beautiful. Like I said, I got this in the 3mm last month. And these are coated. See here? You look at the hole. See that right there? That is how you could tell it's coated. I guess it's like a spray paint they put over it. So this is actually very much like a glass pearl. Glass pearls are coated like this. Underneath the glass pearl finish is actually a white bead. And um, in one of my recent videos, I showed you guys a chain, the chain that I've gotten from thrift stores over the years, and um, one time I found, actually twice, I found two vintage purses that I think were from the 1950s, and there were these glass pearls in them, and um, I bought it for the glass pearls, and I ended up washing the pearls because they were so dirty, and all of the um, pearl paint on them 
actually came off and the bead underneath was a clear glass bead. It looked like a lampwork bead. It was really strange. I, I'm still using the beads. I didn't throw them away. But it did take off all of the pearl finish. I guess because it was so old. And I washed them with um, mild hand soap. So I guess because it was so old that's why it came apart. So anyways, this one is Vintage Rose Gold Luster. This is gorgeous. And I am wondering if I have already gotten this in a 3mm. That's pretty. Okay, so I have to turn the notifications off on my phone and put this away without losing beads. Okay, so I already see two bead strands. Make that four bead strands that I totally love. We're going to start with the strands first because that's what's on the top of the list. Man, that purple is unbelievable. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. All right, I've got to stop looking at the beads and read the list. First on the list is 4mm Czech Glass Truck Light Topaz which might be this one, or, uh, yes, it's this one, Light Topaz. So this is actually a, like a pale yellow, almost like John Quill. That's really pretty. I need this color. My bead stash, the colors I lack most, and the colors I find hardest to find is orange, yellow, and peach. Those color and white, white beads. Those colors are really hard to find in beads for some reason. I don't know what it is, but like the most plentiful beads that I can find is blue, which is my favorite color. And um, it seems like there's a lot of black. Those two colors is a lot of. So that's pretty and really needed. And the next thing is the 4mm Czech Glass Truck Acid Wash Crystal Blue Zircon. 25 pieces. This is cool. So I guess this acid wash... Um, Thing that they're doing to make the beads is getting really popular. This looks so much like a Druzy bead that I have. It's a Letra Plated Druzy. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's a really popular bead. This looks a lot like that, but it's glass. That's cool. Okay, 6mm Chet Glass Pearl. What? Mystic Purple. Oh, this? <gasps> this is a pearl? So it's coated. I thought it was just a purple check bead. Yeah, it's coated. That's wild. They almost tricked me there. See that? There's a coating on it. You could tell by looking at the hole because the paint gathers in the hole. It's actually a different color right there. That's really cool. I, I thought that these were just regular check beads. I did not know that they were. The uh, pearls, they have a coating on them. They are so pretty. Amazing color. It's actually the same color as my nail right there. And then the next one is 4mm Chet Glass Pearl Matte Satin White. This is pretty. And then there is, I want to know what this rondelle is called. Um, 8mm Chet Glass Fire Polish Jet Mustard Brown. This one, 16 pieces. I think I have this bead in a 6mm. It's really cool. It kind of looks like Tiger's Eye. It has a really neat pattern on it. It, it's, it looks like Tiger's Eye, and the pattern on it is kind of like an agate. Like a crazy lace agate. It's really beautiful. And great for fall. And is this the next one? No. 1x2mm Chinese Crystal Rondelle Jet. That's this here. And I think this is the third one they've sent out like this. It's a super tiny rondelle. Super sparkly. Beautiful. And this is like the same size as a 10 OC bead. So if you want, you can use this in place of a lot of 10 OC beads. Depends on what the project is. And then this is what I'm dying to get to. Uh, 6 by 9 millimeter Czech glass gem cut rondelle. Fuchsia with alabaster white. Or sapphire with alabaster white. Oh, so there's two different colors. And I got the fuchsia one. Man, it is gorgeous. And I can't believe how many are on here. 25 beads. That seems like a lot for rondelles. 
They are gorgeous. Okay, what's next? Now for the additional items. Oh my gosh, these look like nuts. That's funny. You used to go to the hardware store to get nuts to make into jewelry, but now they're actually making jewelry supplies that looks like hardware. <laughs> okay. 7 by 16 millimeter check glass two hole crescent. What? What? This? Oh my gosh, what are those? Is that right? <gasps> wow, I love those. I have never seen this before. It's a check glass two hole crescent bead. Hematite finish, six pieces. Wow, these are so thick. I can't believe how thick they are. Let's see, what do they look like standing up? No, oh, they're not going to stand up for me, are they? That is so cool. There's six of them. So it's a hematite finish. So the bead is not hematite. It is a glass bead. Yeah. Those are neat. This is the first time I've seen these. Okay. What's next? 9mm check glass squiggle cut. Squiggle cut? Opaque green with travertine. This? Yeah, I think it's these. I think I have this bead shape in a uh, beige color. Yeah, I think so. They're really neat. They look like rocks or pebbles. It's a pretty color. Okay. And then there is 10 millimeter Chinese glass laser etched round. Buddha. Which are these? This is incredible. I can't believe that they're able to make these patterns on these beads now like this. It's, it's just so wild. I want to say this is the fourth time they've sent these laser etched beads out like this. Look at that. There is a little Buddha on the bead. All the way around. That is really neat. And I'm thinking that these beads have to be pretty pricey in order for them to make this pattern on here. These can't be cheap. Like to buy a strand of them, I wonder how much that would be. Okay, next thing is 5mm check glass hexagon full coat silver. That's this here. Eight pieces. This makes me think of hurricanes because I just went through getting ready for a hurricane and I put up the shutters with nuts and um, wing nuts and now we're taking the shutters down. So that makes me think of hurricanes. It brings back too many emotions. Okay, what's next? 14 through 16 millimeter broke pearl. This one? Natural peacock finish, yes. I wonder if I'm saying that right. Baroque. Wow, this is weird. The hole is right there. This actually looks like a picture or something. And I forgot to turn the notifications off on my phone. Gosh darn it. Okay. <clears throat> Next thing is 36.6 millimeter Beadalon instant pendant with instant pendant with six millimeter round screw. Oh, this! These are so cool. I saw these on Beads, Bobbles, and Jewels a while back, and it has this little bead right here that's actually like a nut that you unscrew, and you could put beads onto this. And then you put this on, back on, and then you can wear this as an earring or pendant, whatever you want to do with it. But that's really neat. I have those, um, 
European beads. I think that's what they're called. They're like Pandora beads with that big holes on them. So I would totally use this for those. I want to say this is a 16 gauge wire maybe. So you do have a lot of choices on what beads you can put onto this. I was trying to find this in stainless steel because I wear a lot of stainless steel jewelry and stainless steel jewelry does not tarnish. And it's super strong. I've never had a piece break on me. Even like the dainty stuff. And I was trying to find one of these in stainless but I couldn't. But maybe somebody have made, has made them by now. Okay, next thing is 12 by 20 millimeter Chet Glass Dog. That's cool. Oh my gosh, this looks like my dog Giselle. I have a Catahoula Cur dog. She wandered up to my front door. She was really skinny and bony and she was like trying to eat out of our trash. And um, she was really scared to come to us. And my little brother, he actually got her to come up. He got her attention and this looks so much like her. She's actually beige. And the hole goes through the bead right here. And we actually named her Giselle because she looks like a deer. She looks like the girl deer on the movie Open Season. So that's why we named her Giselle. And also love the name Giselle. It's a pretty name. Next thing, I'm dying to get to these. These are really cool. Um, four millimeter Chet Glass Saucer. What? Oh, so this is this is kind of like a bicone. It's just not faceted. It's shaped like a bicone, but there's no facets. And I'm not going to open this because I'm worried about losing them. I'm having bad luck with dropping beads today. Next thing is 4 by 5 millimeter star cut Chinese crystal, which is these here. And they've been sending these out a lot. Um, I got them in blue and black and maybe even hematite. They're really neat looking beads. And then there's two things left. Check 14 millimeter check glass Hawaiian flower, which is this opaque green one. I love these flower beads. Um, I was trying to order these in a turquoise or like a milky fuchsia and they are so darn expensive. Like I'm waiting for them to go down in price for there to be a sale so I can get them. They're really pretty. And I, I think I could make a ring out of this. And it would probably be made the same way as that one ring that I always refer you guys back to where I did an oval bead and I supported the bottom so that it stays flat and it doesn't flip and I beat it around it. I think that could be made into a ring. Okay. You know, it seems like whenever I get these, this box, there's always something in the box that I love so much and I'm dying to get to it and see what it's called and it's always at the bottom of the list like for the strands it was this one and it was at the bottom right here and now this one here that I'm really dying to get to is at the bottom of the list so this is a 12 millimeter check glass two hole laser edge tabular coin bead metallic purple luster with white Oh my gosh. So it's like a check candy bead. I got some check candy beads from um, Hobby Lobby. So it's a lot like that. It's flat on this side and then this side is domed. This is so cool and of course I'm thinking about a ring. Wow. A ring would be awesome and I could use these to go with it. And there's actually, I think green would be really neat. Cool. There's those right there that match. Actually, I think I would use these instead. And maybe the pink. The blue would be great. I really like how with the dollar bead box, they put colors together in the box and in the bag that look really good together. And it's very inspirational for me and it makes me think of new color combinations because I see these pretty colors mixed together. So these would be really cool rings. Yeah, there's two of them. So that's, I think I would do with them. Actually, uh, earrings would be awesome too. They're so pretty. All right, so this
this is everything I love this month's box everything is so unique and beautiful a lot of new things I haven't seen before which is really exciting this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, I will have a link for the Dollar Bee Box down there below the video in case you want to go and check it out for yourself. Please like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Make sure you click the bell button so you get notified when I upload new videos. And you can also check me out on all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.